Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my dead man mode guide. With the invitational tournament beginning in just a couple of days time, I thought I would release my early game method of how I get early game GP to then go ahead and grind out quests etc. Having GP in the first few hours of dead man mode is absolutely vital and without it most people struggle with dead man mode as a game. This method I'm going to show you today can be applied to both the invitational and seasonal dead man modes as you won't require any quests. So the first thing you are going to do to use this method is by talking to Skippy on Tutorial Island. Do not complete Tutorial Island on Deadman mode as, as this wastes a valuable time at the start of the game and by talking to Skippy you can bypass the tutorial and jump straight into the main game. When you talk to Skippy he will ask you a few questions, just answer these questions until you get to the point where he asks you where you would like to start and you will have to select the Gnome Stronghold. Make sure that you select the Gnome Stronghold first above all the other options or you will be wasting time with this method. When you finish talking to Skippy and select the Gnome Stronghold as the place where you want to start on Deadman mode, you will be transported to the Gnome Stronghold just outside the Gnome Agility course. Do not waste time banking your items, just proceed straight into the Gnome Agility course and begin training your Agility level. You will need to do the Gnome Agility course to level 30 Agility, which should take approximately 12 laps of the course to get to level 30. And remember to keep your energy to around 50 throughout the course as you'll need this run energy later on. After you have reached level 30 agility you will want to proceed out of the Gnome stronghold. Do not waste your run energy by running to the entrance of the stronghold, you should be walking there. When you get to the gate you will want to put on your run energy and leg it due south towards Ardoin. You can follow the directions of my character on screen or follow the map that I have created which should show you the most direct way to get to Ardoin. So now that we're in our doin with our level 30 agility, what you will want them to do is you can use the rest of your run NG now depending on what if you have any left and uh, you'll run from the gap that I just showed you all the way down to here and what you will do is you will enter this place here, this is the place where you uh, get your pets insured and you will run up to here and as you can see there is a man and a woman here now what you can do here is you can pickpocket the woman and the man and what you'll want to do this to is you want to get from level 1 to 5 thieving by thieving on, 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 on these people and once you have your level 5 thieving I'm already level uh, 56 on the main game and using world 45 to show this guy what you want to do is you want to run all the way over here and once you have level 5 thieving, what you'll want to do is you'll then want to thieve from the cake store. You'll want to thieve at least 3 inventories of cakes and bank them in the bank. Uh, don't drop your uh, bread as this can be used for questing uh, later on. Uh, particularly in the invitational, you won't need to quest anymore in seasonals. But in an invitational, you'll definitely want to keep your bread for a uh, troll stronghold. And uh, yeah, once you have your uh, full inventory of food, you'll get from level 5 to 20 thieving. And, and then you'll want to steal from the silk store. Now, at the early game, it is a method that people use for money making if they only want a few, um, few couple of K. Is, uh, people will be here in this, in, in, in this um, square and they'll be asking things uh, like uh, S12 or S13 or even S14 and uh, what this basically means is uh, it's quick to, to say that look I have a full inventory of silk and I would like to sell this for 1.2k, 1.33k or 1.4k to whoever's buying and these people will buy this um, 
uh, cheaply so they can sell it to the silk merchant and make a profit off of the silk and that's how people make early money now you'll want to do this uh, three times and uh, this will give you roughly around 5k and uh, you will need this money later on when you uh, begin making your way down to the um, to the agility pyramid in the desert but uh, remember to uh, make sure that you have a full inventory of cakes at least and uh, don't drop bread and feed silk and send it to, to the people here for money uh, this will only be what this will only work for the first couple hours of, of the game if um, there's no one here and you're late spying uh, what you can do is um, you instead of uh, selling silk here quickly you can go to the stronghold of security and get the free 10k or even 2k from the chests there uh, the reason why I wouldn't suggest this and I would go with the silk is that you're trying to get to the agility pyramid as fast as possible and uh, getting to the stronghold of security will um, waste about maybe 10 um, 15 minutes worth of time that you could use getting to the stronghold so if um, if there are people buying silk here set it to them if there isn't go to the stronghold security so now that we have our 5k or so from setting silk to the people here what we want to do is you want to home teleport to Lumbridge and when you get to Lumbridge you'll want to make your way to Rarok uh, I will show you on screen how to do this, but you could probably skip this because you probably know how to how to get to Rarok. But the I will show you the fastest way of how to get to Rarok from Lumbridge by walking or running there. Be very careful of the black wizards as you will be level 3 combat and you want to avoid the black wizards so make sure you go through these trees and uh, that should be out of the radius of the dark wizards and here you are you will have made it to Rarok you'll want to run around this way probably overshot it a bit actually want to run this way but you want to make it around to here and you will make it to the start of the Rarok rooftop course and the reason why we use the Rarok rooftop course rather than getting our agility level up at the gnome stronghold is uh, this is much faster experience we don't uh, get our agility level up at the Draenor or the Al Alcadrid courses um, uh, for several reasons one uh, those places aren't safe zones, so you have to keep in mind that we have to keep ourselves safe because we'll be level 3 combat. The second thing is uh, those um, courses are longer than the normal agility courses, actually much faster to get level 30 agility at the no stronghold course rather than doing the rooftop courses at Al Madrid and Draenor. Now, doing the rooftop course on Rarok, you might get Mark's Graces. Um, you can pick these up if you want to, but I normally avoid picking up these Mark's Graces as I normally don't get full graceful um, when playing seasonal or invitational mode, and I would and I would rather spend those few extra seconds completing the course faster as it all mounts up and gets up there. And uh, basically, you'll be doing the Rarok rooftop course until level 40 agility and once you reach level 40 agility you'll be all set to then make your way down to the agility pyramid and from there you will be making some GP from the agility pyramid ah oh, fuck off man I'm trying to make a fucking guide
see you, mate. And that is why you have to be very careful in our Madrid. Obviously, I'm on guard 445, so you won't be running into PKers who have Ancients in the early game, but uh, Al Alcadrid is a multi-zone, so be very careful of uh, early game teams who are there trying to take out the early game crafters. But uh, yeah, that's unfortunate to be doing that in the middle of a guide, and I will get to the next part when that PKer eventually fucks off. So I logged on to the main game so because uh, Alcadrid is currently being camped by that PK that I ran into but I just wanted to show this bit so making your way from Varrock you'll obviously be making your way back along this path normally or maybe through the pathway that um, I showed you earlier to do the shortcut uh, past the Dark Wizards. Now you might be thinking that it would be a smart idea to go this way because it's quicker it allows you to bypass the gate at the start and you can just move up this way. Going up through this way, through Alcadrid, Al is complete suicide. It's There are no escapes around here. Uh, it's just one complete big, big area. And uh, up, up ahead, south uh, of you is a multi-zone. North of you, um, it's just complete suicide. Do not go through this way. I will show you the way that you should be going through. So you'll want to make your way through Alcadrid through the Alcadrid gate and this is what your inventory should look like minus the <coughs> jeweling that I used to get to Alcadrid quickly from where I was on, on the main game. And uh, your home teleport should have actually re reloaded back down to a zero from the 30 minute counter when you used it at earlier to get back to Lumbridge and go over to the bridge through the gate and uh, what you want, want to do is you'll make your way through the gate and remember to keep your run energy high you should be walking through through this gate and basically you should be hugging this this wall it make, makes you your character as far away from the screen of any potential PKers who are here normally when PKers are hiding in Alcadrid Al they'll be using the scimitar shop there because obviously Early game players will be wanting the Mithril Scimitar from there to train their accounts, maybe crafters are using Mithril Scimitars to kill cows to get cow hired. So make sure you're hiding this and you're making your way behind the bank. This acts as a barrier. If you do see any PPKs, you can just quickly log out or make a big break for it. Maybe juke them possibly. And you'll be making your way around here. And as you can see, we are in a multi combat area, and you'll be making your way down to Shante's Pass. Make sure that you're walking down here to make sure that your run end energy is as great as possible. I would have preferred to have done this in World 445 just to give you the feel of Deadman mode, but um, I don't fancy being PK'd. And so you'll be making your way down to Shante. What you want to do is you want to buy all desert robes quickly throw them on and then you'll buy a pass and then the rest on water skins and there we go we'll go through here now the reason why we got our money from the start of the game is uh, the silk store is so we can use the travel to poly village and that will bring us down to Polyminich on the Mad Magic Carpet. Here's the reason why we get money at the start from, from trading silk, or if you had to, from the stronghold or, or security, is when you start the game, you have no GP. You need GP to buy the desert robes and the water skins and uh, to, you know, basically get around to the agility pyramid as fast as possible. It's uh, it's not viable. It's not a very good good way to just um, fill to feed a full inventory of cakes. Home teleport and make your way down to the agility pyramid at 30 agility or even 40 agility at that point. Because even at 40 agility, you will still be dropping down from the agility pyramid. Uh, but at level 40, it is better than level 30 because you won't be dropping with less. At level 30 agility, if you're doing the agility period at level 30 agility, you'll be falling all, all the time. You will not be able to complete a course until your inventory of food runs out, as well as your cool water skins. Uh, so make sure you do as I say. Make sure you have full dead desert rovers. This makes sure 
that you don't drink as many water skins and uh, make sure that you do have GP before heading down to the agility pyramid to use the magic carpet as it get, as that, that gets you there quicker and you'll have the water skins and so on to basically train at the agility pyramid until you see a pyramid top. So if you've made it this far and then you've made it to the agility pyramid and what you want to do is you want to talk to Simon Tillington button. Now I have already spoken to him and uh, I have already unlocked the fact that I can give you some artifacts and he'll pay 10k for these. Make sure that you talk to Simon first before doing the agility pyramid as when you get a pyramid top and you make your way down up, back up here to sell it to Simon. Uh, you might have to go through the dialogue first and then sell the pyramid and there might be hairs here which, which would be a crying shame so once you've talked to Simon what you're going to do is you're going to make your way around to the agility pyramid and you'll basically do this until you reach the top now at level 40 agility as I said you might be dropping a lot do not be discouraged by this uh, this is only for early game GGP, you're not here to make 100k, you're not here to make 200k, you're here to make uh, maybe 20 to 50k if you're lucky, uh, depending on, on your RNG, you might not drop a lot at level 40 agility and all of obviously training on the agility pyramid you will be making uh, some XP so your agility level will be going up as you're doing this and the more further your agility level goes up the less that you'll be dropping. But uh, on average you'll be making maybe 10k 20k at, at the start if you're only level 40 agility and uh, the fusion level that you got to get to the top so once you get to the top you'll be getting a pyramid top and i'll show you what to do once you get that pyramid top so once you've made it to, to the top what you want to do is you want to right click and click find rocks and the character will climb up to the top and take the pyramid top now make sure that you complete the agility pyramid by going through the door. If you um, if you do drop down all the way down to, to the bottom without going through this doorway without getting the agility top, you the agility pyramid will not respawn another agility top if you need to do this again. So if you do fall down after getting the agility top by maybe falling down from here or falling down on this thing, make sure you do climb up and you complete the agility pyramid. As I said, if you need to do this again and without completing the agility pyramid, you will not respawn a pyramid top. So make sure you complete the pyramid once you get the, uh, the pyramid top. So go through here and uh, you get a, a load of XXP for completing the pyramid. Um, so I, would, I wouldn't know why you would just drop down pretty easy. So we'll talk to Simon. Sell it and you'll get 10k now the trick is when you're doing the agility pyramid keep your e energy above 50 it is a hot zone for for pks um a lot of uh, pks who get their mag magic level up on the first days 
they they come down and they will take take you out with the blast spells that you get on the normal, normal spell book so make sure that your en energy is above 50 when you're doing the agility pyramid but the aim once you get to the agility pyramid is to get that 20 30 or maybe even 50k if you're lucky as quickly as possible so it is okay to run just make sure that you have enough run energy uh, on you when you do get pk is kind of bad to kill you as all you have is cakes they only heal about nine and uh, they only heal three per time that you eat one so be very careful so if you enjoyed this guide if you found it helpful uh, thank you for watching and making it this far into the video um, please subscribe to the channel and uh, I hope that this guide helps you in the invitation that's coming out in a couple of days and the seasonal that will be coming out in a few weeks time and uh, as I said at the start of the video this guide can be applied to both invitation and seasonals and it's a very good way to get early game GP and uh, this is how I start all my dare dead mode modes if you want to check out my videos um, this is how I always start on dare mode mode it's a really easy way once you get that 10 20 20k you can buy uh, some fire fire strikes to either do questing or buy some range ammunition to go out to green dragons get get your range level and prayer level up and from there you'll be pretty set to do whatever you want on dead mode mode but Yes, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.